She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And you let her see you like this. Like what? This, crashing at pops. Your car ain't running. Got no job. You're broke. Okay, it's just temporary, pops. I believe that. But a lady may not say it, but she wants a man to be a man. It don't make a difference what you're doing. She still needs to see it, or she doesn't believe. I know she's kicked you out before. That's why you keep on ending up here, right? Oh, you ain't staying for breakfast. Oh, no, I have a work commitment. It smells great, though. Well, make sure you grab you some before you leave. All right, we'll deal. <laughs> breakfast is served. So, I was in the back seat. Thought I was gonna bleed to death. And the next thing I know, Trish has us up on the freeway, leading three cop cars on a high-speed chase through greater D.C. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's probably because I was hopped up on whatever stuff we were transporting at the time. <laughs> you know, that judge was easy on us. Yes, he was. So, we beat the charge and decided to lay low for a while. Spent some time out west, doing some petty bullshit Nickel and Diamond, Oregon, Reno, you know? <laughs> Those were the days, all right. So you guys were never worried about the people you were taking from? Or the families you were leaving back home? Or, or even worse, being locked up for the rest of your life? Back then, it was about the thrill of the chase. The adventure of it. We were not to do anybody any harm unless they brought us harm. Our gaze consisted of white collar shit, you know, Corporate crimes, crimes without faces. We never wanted to harm people. Not for nothing. 